Welcome to SPC Insights with Dr. Bill, simplifying SPC and statistical analysis. This video is going to take a look at the between slash within control chart. Have you ever seen a subgroup averages chart that looks like this? You collect your data, plot it, do your calculation, but the control limits are very tight and most of the points are out of control. Do you know why the X-bar chart may look like this? Well, it has to do with balancing the between and within subgroup variation. And this video is going to explain why this happens naturally and what you can do about it to be able to still monitor your process in this situation. In this video, we're going to go back and review X bar and R charts focusing on between and within subgroup variation. Then we're going to talk about that case where the between and within subgroup variation is significantly different naturally. And we're going to look at monitoring three sources of variation, X bar's individual values, the moving range, and the range chart. So let's go back and take a look at X bar and R charts. Suppose that each hour four samples are taken from production. Sample hour one, four sample, hour two, four sample, and hour three, four sample. You take these four samples each hour and you form a subgroup. No. Each sample is measured. Then the range is calculated for each subgroup, simply the maximum minus the minimum. And what you're going to do then is take those range values and plot those on the range chart. Then you're going to do the same thing with the subgroup averages. You're going to calculate the subgroup average for the four samples each hour and plot those on the X bar chart. So your X bar chart and R chart is two charts, one for the range values, one for the X bar chart values. When you have enough points, you calculate the overall averages and control limits. And we're going to start with the range chart. You calculate the average range, that's the center line. Then you have your upper and lower control limits, which are based on control chart constants that depend on subgroup size. The R chart monitors the variation within a subgroup, from subgroup to subgroup. For the X bar chart, then, we do the same thing. It's monitoring the variation between subgroup averages. We calculate our overall average. That's called X double bar. Then we calculate our control limits and add those. In this case, A2 are the control chart constants that depend on subgroup size. And again, the X bar chart monitors the variation between subgroup averages. So the control limits are based on the average range, as you can see. Well, what does this mean exactly? Now, if all the points are within control limits and no patterns, the charts are in statistical control. And that means the between subgroup variation on the X bar chart is consistent with the within subgroup variation on the range chart. So if you're in control, you're balancing the between and the within subgroup variations. But what if the within subgroup variation is not consistent with the between subgroup variation? You're going to have out of control points. But suppose this is natural, that it's not reasonable to expect the between subgroup variation to be the same as the within subgroup variation. Let's take a look at an example. You're running a batch reactor. Each batch takes four hours to run. The batch is mixed, it's homogeneous. The purity of the batch is measured four times in the last hour. And then you end up here, as you can see, you got your four, four samples in a subgroup, X1, X2, X3, X4, and you have a total of 10 subgroups. We've calculated the average and range as shown in the data here. And here are the calculations that we use. And we'll start with the range cal calculations. Our bar is equal to simply the sum of the R values divided by K, it's 0.37. Then we have our upper control limits, D4 times R bar, it's 0.84. There's no lower control limit. And then you go on and you're going to calculate for the X bar chart as well. The overall average is 98.5. And you get your control limits of 98.77 down to 98.23. And you can see from this chart that those are tight. So the X bar chart is looking at the variation between subgroups. Okay? And this chart looks terrible. Most of the points are out of control. The range chart, though, is measuring the variation within a subgroup. And as you can see here, this chart is in statistical control. So what happened? Well, there's very little variation within a batch. The average range is 0.37. But look at the batch averages. They vary a lot. And remember, the average range is used for control limit calculations for the X bar chart. So they're very tight. And everything looks like it's out of control. So the within subgroup or within batch variation is not consistent with the between subgroup or batch variation. So how do you handle this? 
Well, we're going to change the variation we're looking at. Now, remember, the X bar and R, we had two sources of variation to monitor. The between subgroup batch variation, where the control limits were based on the average within subgroup range. That's the range of the chart that we were monitoring, the within subgroup batch variation. And now we're going to have three sources. We're going to take the X bar chart and treat it as an individual's chart. So we're going to have an X bar chart where the control limits are based on the average moving range. We're going to have a moving range chart where it's between subgroup variation that's being monitored. And we're also going to use that within subgroup range chart again. So let's take a look at the calculations. So here's the data that we had before. We're adding the moving range column. And the moving range is the range between consecutive subgroup averages. The first moving range is 0.8. It's the difference between the subgroup averages for subgroups 1 and 2, 98.5 and 97.7. Then we're going to do the calculations, and we're going to use an individual's control chart to replace the X bar chart in calculations. And that's going to give us an average range of 0.9 in this case. This is for the range between consecutive subgroup samples. That compares to 0.37 from the X bar calculations. The upper control limits point is 2.94 compared to 0.84 on the range chart. And the control limits on the X chart are now wider. So let's take a look at what they will look like. Here's the X bar chart treated as an individual's. These have control limits based on the individual's control chart. We're using each subgroup average as an individual value. And then the moving range chart, we're going to take a look at the moving range between subgroup averages. So the average range on this chart is used to calculate the control limits for the batch averages we just looked at. And then finally, we have our within subgroup range chart. And this is the third and final chart. And this is the same as the one we did with the X bar and R chart. It's identical. So we've replaced two charts with three charts to be able to handle the situation where this within subgroup variation is different than the between subgroup. We have X bar, we have the moving range, and we have the R chart. And these three charts are in statistical control. So they tell quite a different story than the classical X bar and R chart. And this is what you want to do when you have the within subgroup variation different than between subgroup variation. So in summary, what did we take a look at? We took a look at how the classical X bar and R chart tried to handle this special situation, and it led to most points being out of control. Instead, we used three control charts, the X bar chart, which has the subgroup averages treated as individual values, the limits based on that average moving range between them, then we have the between subgroup range chart. That's the moving range chart that we calculate. And then finally, we have the within subgroup range chart, which is our normal range chart from the X bar and R chart. But here, this is how you handle the between and within subgroup variations when they differ. So thank you for watching. Subscribe if you would like. Visit our SPC knowledge base for free articles, or you can download the demo and make your own between within charts. Thank you for watching the video.